This is Christian. This is Stephen Wachowski from Christian Music N N Network, and we're have here with uh, Linda Balls. So, how are you doing? I'm good, Stephen. How are you today? Oh, great. Good, 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 good. It's so, been a hot one. Yes, it's certainly been very hot. Extremely hot. Yeah, so. Thank the Lord for air conditioning, huh? Exactly, exactly, exactly. When I was growing up, we didn't have an air conditioner, and I can remember we had the window fans and I don't know, you know, you get those fans blowing and you take right. a nap. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You didn't work out in the heat. Yeah, it was the same way with us. We just used a fan, you know, and that was it, you know. But yeah, the rest of my spoiled. family is like spoiled. Yeah. They have central air conditioning, but 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 where I'm at, the house is so old it doesn't do that. So uh -huh. so so I just have a yeah air conditioner in my room. My mom has one. We have two air conditioners downstairs. Mm -hmm. you know? So been it's been you crazy. Do what you gotta do. Just try to stay cool. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. So what's been going on with you? Well, I have been really busy with my music ministry. Um, I've got a, a new song that just came out. It came out last Friday. It's called Jesus is With Me. It was released to all of the streaming platforms, you know, whatever they are, Apple, iTunes, all of them, whatever they are. And um today is Wednesday. So yesterday it was released to radio. So um, it's been released to a Christian radio charts. So we're hopeful. It's, it's a great song. I, I'm really excited about it. And I've got two more that we're working on that are almost ready for me to do the vocals on. So I'll be going to Nashville soon to do the vocals and to do some other other work in Nashville. So that's exciting. So yeah, just keeping on, keeping on. Every day there's something new to do and something new to figure out. So, some new thing that I've never heard of usually that I've got to uh, get some help on. But um, yeah, it's it's been exciting. It's, it's been fun, it's been wonderful. I've had some performance opportunities. Uh, so that's always great. I love performing online, but I, I love performing in person even better. It's nice when you can see the faces and uh you know really talk to people and see them great awesome awesome fantastic so uh you got some songs to share so i do i thought um if you don't mind i would start off with the first song that i ever wrote it's a song called the missionary and a lot of us feel like in order to be a missionary we need to go to some far off country that God needs to call us to move away from where we live. But um, this song talks about a guy who was an insurance salesman. And when he got up in the morning, he would just pray that God would bring whoever across his path that he would want him to minister to. And it, it really tells a story. Um, it tells the story of uh, my first husband who passed away in 1982. It was really a story of his life. Um, but uh, would you like for me to share it? Sure, definitely. All right, here we go. Okay. Let me know if you can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. Okay, super. He awoke at Was at work by five of nine Once again he skipped his breakfast Cause he didn't have the time He took the old black Bible From the shelf where it was laid He laid his head upon it As once again he prayed The missionary Lord, what would you have me do today? Is there one lost soul you sent me? needs a word to help him find the way. The missionary, Lord, I give my everything to you. I thank you for what you have done. You sent your 
door He looked as if he hadn't eaten for a couple of days or more He sent out for coffee and some sandwiches, you see You can't tell them about Jesus until you meet their need Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, and, and thanks to Zoom and uh, other and and the uh, phone, we can even be m missionaries around the world. That is amazing, isn't it? You I know, was just looking at my website today, and um, I, I try to get on there as often as I can to keep keep it up to date and all. But oh my goodness gracious, there was people from there was like forty four different in the past few days, people that had been on it. And they were from all over. It, right. it is, it just blows your mind what the internet has allowed us to do in proclaiming, you know, the love of the Lord, you know, to the world. So it's a wonderful, it can be wonderful. It can be terrible too, but it can be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was just, just asked to uh, speak again in Pakistan, you know, Speak the uh share 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 the share the 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 God's word there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just a uh, second time. Yeah. So yeah. So pretty cool. That is awesome. That is so awesome. And they're so receptive to uh what you do. I'm sure. I'm sure it's very rewarding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I well I also share scriptures every day. You know, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And, right. and, and, and people around the world really like it, you know, so. That's awesome. Have you ever had any problem with Facebook uh, deleting your post when you post scriptures? No, 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 no. I'm the fortunate one, so I don't know, so. That's good. That's good. Count yourself blessed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know, I know so many other people who, 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 who post stuff up and, and it got removed, you know, it's just like, I don't know. Right. I'm one of those people. Wow. The Lord led me to do walk and talks. And I walk the dogs. So in June of 23, the Lord 
told me I felt like to start sharing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I said, "Well, what do you want me to? What do you want me to share? This what? I don't want to talk to these people. They don't want to hear me talk." Mm. So, um, but anyway, so I started doing that out of obedience, and um, I've had lots of views, and I've it's it's been it's gone very well. It's been very popular. And uh, one time I had 58,000 views, believe wow. it or not. I know that doesn't even make, I don't believe it, but it's what it says, you know, and I got yeah. lots of likes and comments and I got 24,000 views. You know, usually I would maybe get 500 or something like that. But, um, and, and sometimes, you know, just a few, but um, I don't know what I've done to the Facebook bots, but they don't like me anymore. Now they, 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 they try to delete my stuff. They delete my stuff all the time. No, so no, I'm sorry. Do it's you well, you know what? We're, we're in a battle and we need to yep. know that God has already won yep. and it does get frustrating. So I, I try to not be frustrated and just keep my eyes on the Lord and say, Lord, just show me what you want me to do. And I will do the best that I can. And, um, he'll have to make up the difference for, what I lack, and um, it, it'll be okay. So, yeah, yeah. Well, well, our barrel is not against flesh and blood, but 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 the powers and principalities of right. the air, you know. Right. So. right. But we are supposed to put on our armor. Exactly. And take. I don't know what the next word is. In the scriptures in Ephesians, my, my yeah. pastor talked about it on Sunday, and he said the, the, there were three verbs. It was put on, take, and stand. Those yeah. were the three main yeah. things. See, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't know what you're supposed to take, but I felt like it was like take charge. That's probably not right, but I, need, I haven't had a chance to look it up and study it again. But put on the full armor of Christ, take whatever you can tell me what the answer is yeah. take i thought it was probably take you know just take yeah. 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 take whatever it is and go forward you know take the challenge take charge and then stand yeah. you know yeah. stand with authority yeah we it's okay you know we know we, we all have challenges everybody does well um this next song that i would like to share with you is a song about um praising the lord Okay, and awesome. you know, I heard somebody say recently that even when things are really, and actually it was a story about an experience someone had, they were in a really bad situation, you know, like your car, right? right or yeah. something, something bad. And, and they had heard in their church or from their pastor, or someone had told them to praise the Lord in all, at all times and all situations. Yeah. So they started praising the Lord and a really bad situation just turned around in a, in a supernatural way and God just worked a miracle. I, I can't give all the details because, you know, it's just a story that I read. But I mean, isn't that the truth? Even, I think even more so when we're down or when we feel, when we don't feel it. You know, when, 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 when the, the life has gotten in the way and we just feel overwhelmed, we really need to remember to praise the Lord because that's God will be glorified and we will also be encouraged through that. So in the Bible, by the way, since I'm talking about that, it tells us over 400 times to sing God's praises. And... 50 of those times are commands. So it's important. It was important to God. He reminded us many times in his word to praise him. So this is a fun song. We just released this one in June, I think. And this one's done really well um, on the charts. It's called The Master's Call. And the Master has called us to praise him. And the Lord provided for me this summer an ukulele. And um, this ukulele is a uh, custom made by uh, one of the best, uh, most uh, highly recognized luthiers in the world. And I wasn't looking for an ukulele. Um, I had I had an ukulele, <laughs> but it wasn't anything like this. But um, I feel like God wants me to learn how to play it. So I'm going to play a little ook 
uh, with this song, The Master's Call, and I'm learning how to do that, and I'm thankful that God uh, has provided it. It's really a lot, a lot of fun. But anyway, you ready for this? The Master's yeah. Call. All right, here we go. Thessalonians 5, uh, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. All right. We're in agreement. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Sweet. So you ready for another song? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. okay, how about a song about prayer? All right, go. Cool. So did you know, Stephen, that God knows what you're going to pray even before you pray it? Yep, definitely, definitely. In Matthew 6, 8, it says, 
Your Father knows what you need even before you ask. And I think that's kind of cool because he knows us better than we know ourselves, right? Yeah. And um, one of the cool things I think about communicating with the Lord is that we can come to him just as we are. We don't have to worry about having the words just right or saying it a certain way. We can be exactly like we are, just be true and real, be ourself. And he accepts us and he loves us even in our brokenness, even when we're not doing the right thing or not thinking the right thing, he still loves us and will, will help us if we ask him to do that. So this song is called Long Before I Start. I never have to worry that I'll be understood But try to say each word exactly as I should When I talk to Jesus, he looks into my heart He knows what I will say Long before I start, long before I start, he's looked inside my heart. He knows me well, he always can tell what's on my mind. Long before I So would you like for me to just do another song? Sure, yeah. Okay, so this song is the one that I was speaking about uh, earlier, the one yep. that we just released. 
Uh, we released it last Friday. It's called Jesus is with me. Yeah. And this is a wonderful song about no matter what, no matter if I look back in my life and all the challenges, just all the good things and all the things that were difficult, every everything, Jesus has always been with me and he always will be. And no matter whether I acknowledge that he's there or realize that he's there, he's always there, even in the tough times. And um, even when I get it wrong, he still loves me and he still is there to help me. We just have to accept him and ask for his help. You know, he's always right there. Even when, even when you, you can hardly believe that he is, but he is, he's right there. So this is a song that I hope is a blessing to you, Stephen, and I hope it's a blessing to the others that are listening. Jesus is with me. Got a little country twist to it. Got a little country beat. <laughs> So where can we find your music? Well, my music is on all of the streaming platforms, of course. 
and um, you can get it on my website as well, uh, Linda Bowles Music. You can check me out on Facebook, Linda D. Bowles. Uh, I've got two Facebook pages, Linda Bowles Music. I mean, Linda D. Bowles and Linda D. Bowles Music. There's two, a music page and a regular personal page. Yeah. And all of the streaming platforms. So please, please, you know, if you if you get a lot of streams, that, that looks good. You don't really make any money. I haven't made any money yet, any, actually. <laughs> but it, it looks good if you if people are at least listening, you know, that's a good thing. You get a couple of pennies for every every time somebody listens, I guess. But um it's okay. God said share. So we just share and let him worry about the details. Sure, 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 sure. So how can we contact you? You can contact me if you look at my website, Linda Bowlesmusic.com. You can uh, sign up for my mailing list. You can send me a message. Um, you can also message me on Facebook Messenger. You can message me there, yeah. And uh, go to my website. There's a lot of stuff on there, a lot of history. I've been singing a long time since I was a girl. Great, cool, 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 cool. So do you have any events coming up? Well, um, tomorrow I'm doing a podcast with uh, Notes Fire Music. I'm going to do a recording with them. Of course, I'm doing this with you tonight. And I'm going to be on Red's Room next month. I'm getting ready to go to Nashville. And, um, and just stay tuned. If you, if you look on my website, there's some things on there. Um, a lot of stuff on the internet, like uh, live crazy blessed worship and Red's Room and the podcast, um, Carolyn's Corner. Mm. Have you met Carolyn? She's really sweet. She's in Beeville, Texas. So I did something with her last week and I did live crazy blessed worship. So they kind of come up a lot. I'm trying to do more uh, in person. Uh, and so I'm, I'm working on that. So if you know anybody that would like to have me come sing, just let me know. Any of your listeners, yeah, I'm looking for where God would have me go to share his light with the world, the things he's done in my life and the songs that he's given me. So we're, we're working on that. We pray that those doors are going to open. Cool, 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 cool. So when you do shows, what are they like? Well, um, I did it. You can actually see some of my live shows. I did a, I did a live show recently at a coffee house, a Christian coffee house called the Well Coffee House in Portsmouth, Virginia. I I, I did three hours that night. Wow. So I did so I did three forty five minute sets. I did okay. one. I did a bluegrass set. Everybody loved that. Probably the best. <laughs> I don't oh. know. The other two sets were my original songs, but I had my ninety four year old aunt Miriam performing with us and everybody she's a famous musician she is something else and she is still getting she's still uh playing the guitar and singing and so we rehearse with her about once a week my cousin and i and so she we did a set of bluegrass songs i played my ook my son played guitar i had a drummer ain't miriam on the guitar and uh, we had a little six-year-old girl come up and sing sing a song with us. I think that was the best thing of the night. And uh, yeah, and then I, I do piano and I also do my tracks and share what God puts on my heart, share my original songs. Um, a lot of a lot of my original songs have not been recorded yet because, you know, we're, it, you know, I only started this about a year and a half ago. It was mm -hmm. February of 2023. Wow. I was working in my garden I had retired from teaching in 2017. I taught for 42 years. I taught choral music education and I taught piano. And um, so I retired and, and I was happy as a little, I don't know what, you know, a little piano pot, I guess, doing my little, working in the yard and doing my little garden. And Lord said, Linda, you remember those songs that I gave you back, back when, you know, <laughs> in that book you've got in there on the, shelf and the the bookshelf there yeah i remember that book i hadn't cracked open that book in 42 years wow. 
Wow. But um, back in the 80s, uh, I wrote songs after my first husband died. The Lord gave me songs and I had a little band and we traveled and I did a little recording. And so we did all that, but then life changed and I went and did other things. I got my degrees and I went into education. So I did that. So Lord called me to uh, share the songs that he had given me. And I didn't know how to do that. And um, I said, Lord, I have no idea what you're asking me to do. But anyway, so that started the social media thing. And one thing has led to the other. I started sharing my songs on my Facebook page. And little by little, people started noticing and liking and things like that. And then it just kind of has led, one thing has led to the other. I started working with uh, Andy Baker with Homegrown Worship. He's in the UK. He produced my first four songs. And um, then I, I met Jeff McLaughlin with um, McLaughlin Music Group International, and he, he helps me with the promotion of the songs globally. Um, he's great. He's been a great resource. And they're just, it's like as I need something, I mean, I know nothing. And as I need something, God seems to bring the right people in my path. Met Rick Ross, you know and Red Stainbrook and yeah. Stephen Witkowski, you know, all these famous <laughs> yeah. indie guys, you know. So God's opening doors, you know, and th sure. you know, th this is the thing I want to say, Stephen, when God called me out of my garden, literally, I mean, that's just the way I remember it. Um, and he asked me to share. I didn't know that he asked you to share. And he asked all these people that I've met, all these indie artists. I I didn't even know what an indie artist was. I had to look up the word. Oh, really? Mm. I know that sounds stupid, but I did not know mm. what that was. And I found out, oh, I'm an indie artist. <laughs> Independent. I'm not signed with anyone. But um, so I started sharing, and it's been fun and hard. <laughs> It's been wonderful and it's been a challenge. And uh, but you know when you, when God calls you to do something, I feel like God has raised up an army. I feel like we're. It sounds negative to say we're at war, but it feels like that. It just feels like we're to bring God's light to battle against the darkness and the oppression that people are living with in their lives. If you don't have the light of Christ in your heart, how hopeless some people feel because they don't, they don't understand that he's real. And when I went through the death of my first husband, I was raised as a Christian. I knew the Bible verses. I knew the right things to say. You know, I mean, I, I knew it was a culture. It was the way I was raised. Sure. But when I went through that really dark time, whether Jesus was who he said he was, whether he was real or not, mattered. It, 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 it was whether I could breathe, whether I could get one foot in front of the other. If he wasn't who he said he was, I, I don't know what I, I would have done. But he has gotten me through all these years. And, um, it, you know, I've had difficult times, you know, through these years. But he has been with me through it all. And... Um, People need to know that it's not just it's something we make up. And until you feel what it feels like in your heart to have him touch your heart, when you ask him in and you feel his presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit, when you know, then you just want to shout it from the mountaintops. You want people to know that wonderful presence of the Lord that you have experienced and how he has helped you in your darkest times and you have been able to walk in confidence and go forward you know we we only have a certain number of days on this earth everybody you know that is called uh that has been called by the lord have a job to do we have a job to do and that is to be his hands and feet and to share his light with the world that's i believe that that's our calling so 
everywhere I go, you know, you just, you pray that you can just show God's love and understanding and patience and kindness in a dark world that doesn't really understand that. But when they see it, they want to know where they want to know where that came from. They want to know more about it, you know, because it's such a lovely, a lovely thing, the love of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're always called to give a, a get a reason for our hope, which is in Christ. You know. I just read that today. Yes, yes. I just read that scripture today. Oh. Yes, and and oh, I wish I don't have my paper. I wrote I wrote it down. It was so awesome. I wrote it down. Yeah, and it said to be respectful. Yep. You know, to, you know when see I can't I can only paraphrase, yep. but it said when someone you know we need to be able to explain what is the hope of our calling. I mean, yep. what is this hope that we have? We need to be able to explain it. But when we explain it. We also need to do it with respect and with kindness, not with a judgmental spirit or in a haughty way or, yeah. you know, show God's light, you know, share what he's done in your life. Share the realness of, of who he is. It's just a wonderful thing. Thank you, Lord. I, I just hope that, I mean, I can get rambling on. I get so excited about it, but I pray that he can work some sense out of all the things that, you know, I'm saying, make it, make it good, make it what he wants it to be. Yeah. Cause he is an awesome God. Yep. 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 God is an awesome God. You know, yes. you know, yeah. 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 And the Bible, yeah. The first also says, sanctify the Lord in, in your, in, in your heart. And uh, and give the hope, you know. The the give the reason, you know, of your hope, which is in Christ, you know. So, you know. So yeah, yeah. You know. And it really touches people when you share your personal experience, your personal testimony. Yeah. Of how exactly. God made a difference that's the reason we're supposed to share with whoever you know god leads uh on our path you know whoever god has for us to share but be be willing to share what god has done yep amen amen 105 i'll just check and see okay <laughs> did you hear something yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So you want me to do another song? Yeah, sure. Yes. Well, I have no idea how long we're supposed to. Uh, well, we can, well, just one, one last song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. So this song is called What Can We Do? We live in a dark world and... um. There's a lot of people that have been hurt. People have even been hurt in the church. And um, there's a lot of broken dreams. And, uh, but our job is to share God's light with the world. This is called, What Can We Do? Okay. i 
Uh, yeah, that verse is from uh, first first Peter three uh, fifteen. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that that is in you with meekness and fear. I love that with meekness and fear. Yes. And, and the, the version that I had read said respect is something and, and you know, meek, meekness, like kindness and respect. That's the way I, I, I saw it. But yes, that's a beautiful verse. I love that. Yes, yes. I'm glad you, I'm glad you got that uh, out of the Bible so we can hear what God, how God said it. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wanted to share that. So, yeah. Thank yeah. you. So. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming on, Linda. It, it was my pleasure. Uh, any last words? Well, I want to thank you. You have helped me to follow the calling that the Lord has placed on my life. He just told me to share. He didn't yep. tell me how or where. He just said share. So I appreciate the opportunity to come on here and share my heart and the songs that the Lord has given me. And I pray that you will be richly blessed and all the people that, that hear this. Thank you so much, Stephen. Yeah, yeah, we'll be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, 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 um, 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 what was it? We'll be anticipating you know, more from you, from your m m music and Thank everything else. And Thank God you so bless much. you. Thank you, Stephen. All right. And uh, good night. Good night, everyone.